Fox Hollow Farm is an 18-acre estate in Westfield, Indiana, just north of Indianapolis. The two-door style home was built in 1979 and features five bedrooms and an indoor swimming pool. It is most famous for being the home of suspected serial killer Herb Baumeister. The owner gave us a tour of the home and stated that he had not had any experiences in the home in the 10 years he has resided there. He stated that some of the evidence we may have seen on TV or read on the internet was staged. He allows investigators into his home five times a year simply because people are curious. He pointed out areas where others have claimed to have caught EVPs or seen apparitions. He also pointed out the areas on the property where bodies were apparently burned and disposed of. He allowed us access to all areas of the home and grounds. We conducted EVP sessions in nearly every room of the home and in the areas on the grounds where bones were discovered. No EVPs were captured. We did have some K2 activity on the side of the five-car garage where bones were discovered under a compost pile. It appeared that something was communicating with us as the K2 lit up in response to questions we asked. That activity was not caught on camera. We also had some K2 activity in the woods where the so-called burn pit was located. It was fairly steady, but did not seem to be in response to any questions. While no apparent electrical lines or other indication of possible interference was noted, it was just too random to be classified as paranormal. It's Peg and Red. Okay. So there is something here. There's something here. Talk to my talk into this device in my right hand. Let us know that you're with us. Let us know your name if you can. Move the K2 kind of around to see if it see it's pegging to the red right now in the but it's not back there. Right there, it is. right there it's starting to peg to the red. So what in the world is here? Unfortunately, our investigation did not confirm any of the claims of paranormal activity that has been reported. Instead, our visit to Fox Hollow Farm allowed us to experience not only where a piece of dark Indiana history took place, but also what it has become today, a family home enjoyed by its owner.